All right, what you see here is the setup wizard for the box buster. This is a step-by-step -step process that gets you going and ready to go with all your streaming needs. You can skip it if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it. So, let's go to next. First of all, you're going to choose a network. Now, the best way to run anything like this, if it's possible, is to run a network cable right from the box to a router. And if your modem has extra spots on it, depending on what you've got, that's going to give you the fastest, the most complete connection. But if you need to use Wi-Fi, just make sure that it's highlighted. You notice it's, you see the difference in the highlighting and not highlighting? It's blue. You choose your network, and you choose your password. We're already connected, so I don't need to do that, but you do it, you say done, and give it a second. It'll tell you you're connected, and you're ready to move on. Next is the updater. If you have to make sure that you have the latest update, all you have to do to do that is click update now. And if there's an update available, it will tell you. Right now, there is not an update. We've got a new box. And you know, if you have a new box, you won't need an update either. But just in case something brand new has come out in the between you ordering and you know everything, you'll be able to update it and have the latest firmware, all the goodies. From here, the restore the, and backup section, if you have a backup of Kodi already in place, if you're one of those advanced users, you can add it right through here. We don't want to do that, so we're just going to say no and move on with this. The screen configuration tool is very helpful. You can set it all up, making sure that your setup is correct. And it's going to ask you if you want to change your resolution. You can take a look at what's going on there. That's in the settings. You know, we're going to keep it at 1920 by 1080. But if you wanted to change it, depending on your TV size or power. You know. But when you back out of this, you have a chance to see how everything will look on your TV by just adjusting. Try to make that perfectly square. Press OK, OK. And we'll just move along from there. But that helps you make sure that the screen's gonna work so that you know you don't you don't want to have your clock, you know, too far up in the corner, something like that. From here you can select a skin, um, but really if you do the cloud word like you're supposed to, you, you know, you're going to have a specific skin in place. But the thing about Cody is, is that you do have lots and lots of different looks. We're not going to get into all of them, but if you want to experiment, I mean, it's your box, your fun. But the important thing is that you put in the cloud word, which is coming later. If you have your own local videos, when they say local videos, what they mean is something stored on a computer or a network attached storage, you can load them into your system so that your Kodi box, your box buster connects with that network storage. It'll do the same thing for music. You just go into the Manage Music Library and you pull it up. Moving forward is the important step. This is installing the cloud word. Now, there's these guys, this, this box buster is all set up where all you have to do is click on install cloud word. And a cloud word is a fast setup tool. The cloud word that you need to type in, get ready for it, box. B O X. Say done, and what it's going to do is download the latest build from BoxBuster onto your box. 
you know, this is besides the update. This is going to configure your box with all kinds of goodies and get it all set up. So all you have to do is just pick and choose your favorite stuff. You see that it goes really fast on my Ethernet connection. If you've got an Ethernet connection, you should see the same kind of performance. Uh, you know, even a good Wi-Fi is going to do well for you. But you, you, know, you, need, you need something strong enough, you know. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to get everything set up, and then it's going to ask us if we want to reset it. And that's pretty much where the video is going to end, because after it resets, you're done. And this is the setup video. So it's going to ask us if we're going to set up. We're going to say yes.